Russia and Ukraine together supply a third of the world's wheat and three quarters of its sunflower oil. But for more than two months now, they've been at war and large parts of Ukraine's farming sector have been destroyed. Prices in staples such as flour, bread and pasta have reached record levels around the world for people who can least afford it. I'm Andrew Hopkins and I've been speaking to the EU Commissioner for Agriculture, Janusz Wojciechowski, one-on-one. -on -one. Janusz Wojciechowski, thank you very much for talking to TRT World. First of all, I wanted to ask you about Ukraine because there's been a, a war going on there for now about two and a half months. And before that war started, Ukraine supplied about 50% of the world's sunflower oil uh, products, also about 10% of uh, various grain products like wheat. So what's your assessment of the situation in Ukraine right now in terms of food production and the farming sector? The situation is uh, very dramatic, first of all, that uh, the Ukraine is under horrible attack of aggression of Russia and uh, this is a big humanitarian problem. We have uh, five million refugees from Ukraine um, uh, in the last uh, three months after the, the uh, 24th of February. Majority of them in, in my home country, Poland, about the, more than three, three million. Uh, but also the uh, Russian uh, army attacked the um, uh, Ukrainian agriculture. They destroyed the, the uh, machineries, uh, that destroyed the um, storage uh, of, of uh, grain, that's, etc. That's, uh, they attacked uh, farms. This is, um, I, I think, this is uh, uh, intentional action to destroy Ukrainian potential for agriculture, to create hunger. It, we we met it in the history, uh, especially in the 30s when. Uh, Soviet uh, Russia the, the, at that time created the hunger in Ukraine. It was the method of the political domination. Uh, but now, but, um, uh, this, this is a very serious situation. That's, uh, I, I am in contact with Ukrainian Minister of Agriculture. According to his information, the risk of the, to, of the losses in, in, in um, Ukrainian production is between 15 and 50 percent of the production, but another problem is export, because uh, Ukraine uh, uh, was uh, uh, lost the uh, the main export corridor, which is the Black Sea ports, which are destroyed like Mariupol or attacked and uh, blocked like Odessa. Uh, the challenge is to organize the alternative corridor for export, mainly mainly to the Baltic uh, Sea ports. I was going to ask, actually, is any of these products actually getting out of Ukraine at the moment, or has the priority been to sort of uh, keep these foodstuffs within the country because there are people there who need food as well? Uh, our action is according to the Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainian suggestions that they need, first of all, to support their export to, to, to um, uh, other countries. and. Uh, at the beginning of the crisis, the most uh, important challenge was to deliver uh, fuel, diesel, for the Ukrainian tractors, for the spring sowing. It was successful. The, the, the majority of fields in Ukraine was, uh, the, the spring, so, spring sowing was, was successful. Nobody knows what will be with the harvest, because how long the Russian aggression will be continued. There is also risk for the, for the next harvest. No, this is also the challenge that we need to reconsider our policy in the European Union, how uh, temporarily replace the U Ukrainian export. This is the reason that uh, we need to increase the uh, production, agricultural production in European Union. Now also Russia, before this war started, was providing, I think, something like a quarter of the world's needs in, in wheat as well, and it's already put some export restrictions on itself, sending wheat into some of its Central Asian neighbours. So are you worried that there could be a much wider export ban from Russia? I, I'm worried about this situation that uh, Russia, as a, uh, being aggressor, uh, uh, shouldn't be the, the, the beneficiary of this, this situation, replacing the Ukrainian export by Russian export. No, we need to avoid the 
sanctions are necessary, that sanctions are from European Union, but I hope that also the, the, the other countries uh, will do the same and uh, Russia should be uh, excluded from the, from the norm, normal trade. But do you think if this war goes on for a long time then Russia might want to stop its exports in a much wider, wider fashion if you like to be able to feed its own people? So if there's no alternative, no alternative suppliers, are you worried about a, a crisis coming from that? I think that, that, that our, uh, our we say that in U European agriculture, there is potential to, 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 to increase production and to export more, to, to increase humanitarian aid uh, for, for the countries affected by, by this situation. But uh, no, uh, the, now the, the, the most important is to, to, to organize this, this, this export of, of the Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainian uh, production. The Ukrainian farmers are now heroes because they, they work, uh, they um, cultivate their farms um, uh, under bombs, under attack, but the, the, they are continuing, continuing production and uh, we need to thank them for that and to, to, to support them. So is the European Union, its, its main sort of uh, activities at the moment to help Ukraine, you know, within the European continent is to develop its own sort of uh, farming procedures, develop its own sector to help support Ukraine? Because I think, as you mentioned before, the, some of the places which have been uh, hardest hit so far have been North Africa, Middle East, because they were major customers of Ukraine and, and also Russia. And we've got this situation where... I think according to the UN in March, food prices around the world hit their highest level ever, something like a 30% a uh, increase uh, in prices year on year. So what's the main priority for the European Union you know, in itself, if you like, rather than inside Ukraine uh, to try and tackle this problem? No, first of all, I think that that's, uh, this is necessary, the good cooperation, um, uh, all countries, uh, Play, playing important role in the global food security system. We have uh, the next days, the in coming days, the, the G7 uh, countries meeting. We will discuss about this. I will have the meeting with um, U.S. Uh, Secretary for Agriculture, Mr. Tom Vilsack, because this is uh, you know, in in this situation is necessary to 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 to, to increase production, to to increase export to increase uh, humanitarian aid from the countries who are uh, big, who can be the big, big, uh, uh, especially the cereals uh, exporters like wheat, like, like maize, like um, oil seeds, and etc. Et, et this is the cooperation, good cooperation of the democratic world to solve this problem is, uh, is absolutely necessary. Uh, what's your assessment of the situation in Turkey at the moment? Because uh, Turkish government officials are saying that at the moment they have enough stocks of wheat and various grains and other foodstuffs. But again, Turkey has been a, a major customer of both Russia and Ukraine in the past. I think the situation in Turkey is, is uh, similar like, like European Union. We are, affect we are both affected by this, this situation. We, like. Uh, uh, I, uh, I don't directly the, 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 the figures, but nobody knows how we will finally uh, lose of the, of the import from, from Ukraine, from Russia. Uh, in European Union, this is, uh, uh, mm, we lost 52% uh, of the uh, maize imported from, from Ukraine, 23% so of uh, uh, oil seeds and 19% uh, of wheat, uh, but uh, there is the potential to to uh, mm, uh, to replace the, the, this uh, lack of import by own production. The Turkish agriculture has also big big potential, and I think that there will be no problem for with, with food security in Turkey. It can be in other region in the further in the Middle East and the North African country. This is the problem for for Turkey. No, there is there is in the in the near future there is no risk for food security. The same like for the European Union. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I wanted to ask you about a, a slightly different subject as well, the, the customs union agreement between Turkey and uh, the European Union, which dates back to the 1990s. Now, according to um, an EU statement uh, last year, it said that talks had started at a technical level for a mandate to modernise the customs union, which has been this has been on the agenda for quite a while now. So what is the sort of latest state of affairs with these talks, these discussions? Yes, we discussed the, the, the functioning of the customs union, which is um, very helpful to increase the trade relations uh, between uh, European Union and Turkey during two decades, uh, seven times in, in increase of the trade in, in the food, food sector. Uh, they are some mainly technical p problems, not political, with uh, some um, uh, s kind of, of products, but uh, we are in very good contact with uh, Turkish um, uh, government. Uh, my uh, talks with uh, Minister Kirsici was very constructive, and this good intention to solve uh, the, all the technical problems and to increase our uh, trade relations in the future. But a uh, very important observation is that uh, Turkish farmers, I had them meeting with the tur Turkish farmers, I visited the, 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 the farms, I, I met the uh, uh, Turkish farmers um, who are acting in, in a local group, in the leader program, as a, in, in the IPART program, as a part of the IPART program for Turkey. They are very enthusiastic, they, uh, and they want to be... Uh, uh, as, as quick as possible, members of the European Union. I think the, the, the Turkish farmers are uh, uh, this, they have positive spirit to the European uh, ambitions of, of Turkey. I think that it will be profitable for the, for the European Union, uh, especially to, to uh, join Turkish farmers to the common agriculture policy. It, uh, should be um, good for the strengthening of the global food security. Okay, Commissioner, thank you very much for your time. Thank, thank you, you very much. Mm -hmm.